Bedtime Story, The Tale of Boars the Black Grouse In the heart of a burdened forest, where tall trees whispered secrets and sunlight danced through the leaves, there lived a rather shy black grouse named Boris. Unlike his flashy counterparts, Boris was not known for his charm or flamboyant displays. He preferred the quiet corners of the forest where he could observe the world with thoughtful eyes. As for me, the curious kid who called the forest home, I often watched Boris from afar. I admired his gentle nature and quiet determination, but I could see that Boris longed for something more, the affection of a special lady black grouse. One day, as I wandered through the forest, I stumbled upon Boris deep in thought, his feathers ruffled, and his spirits low. Sensing his melancholy, I approached him with a warm smile. Hello, Boris. I said cheerfully. What's troubling you today? Boris sighed and shifted nervously on his feet. Oh, it's nothing, really. He murmured. I suppose I'm just not as charming as the other male grouse. I fear I'll never win the heart of the lady grouse I admire. A mischievous glint sparked in my eyes as an idea began to form. Nonsense, Boris. I exclaimed. You just need a little encouragement, that's all. With a dash of confidence and a sprinkle of humor, you will win her heart in no time. Boris's eyes widened in surprise, but a small smile tugged at the corners of his beak. You really think so? He asked, his voice tinged with hope, with newfound determination. Boris and I set off on a grand adventure through the forest. Along the way, we stumbled upon a hidden glen adorned with shimmering flowers and sparkling streams, where the air was filled with the sweet scent of pine and the gentle hum of nature's symphony. As we explored the glen, Boris showed me his favorite spots to find the tastiest buds and shoots, his eyes alight with excitement as he pointed out the tender grasses and juicy berries that made up his diet. I watched in awe as Boris feasted on nature's bounty, his graceful movements a testament to the harmony that existed between him and the forest. And here, Boris exclaimed, his voice filled with pride, is where I find the most delicious berries in all the forest. I marveled at Boris's ability to find the finest food the forest had to offer, his keen eye and sharp senses, guiding him to the most delectable treats. You truly are unique, Boris. I said with a smile. Your ability to find delicious food is a gift, and it makes you unlike any other grouse in the forest. Boris's chest swelled with pride, his spirits lifted by my words of encouragement. For the first time, he realized that he was special just the way he was, and that his unique talents made him truly remarkable. And as Boris basked in the glow of his newfound confidence, a soft rustling in the bushes caught our attention. Out stepped a beautiful female black grouse, her glossy feathers shimmering in the dappled sunlight. Hello there, she said with a playful twinkle in her eye. My name is Lucy. Boris's heart skipped a beat as he gazed upon Lucy's radiant beauty. With a flutter of his wings and a charming smile, he introduced himself in return, his voice steady and sure. And so, amid the tranquil beauty of the forest glen, Boris and Lucy embarked on a journey of friendship and love. Their hearts intertwined like the branches of the ancient trees that surrounded them. As the days turned to weeks and the weeks turned to months, Boris and Lucy's bond grew stronger with each passing moment. As Boris and Lucy danced under the twinkling stars, they felt happy because they loved each other a lot. Their laughter was like a beautiful song that echoed through the trees in the forest. It reminded everyone that being kind and brave is what makes us truly beautiful inside.